Hello, once again, thanks for spending a few minutes with me. I'm gonna to continue to talk and to teach a little bit about God being at work in us. And there's proof or there's evidence of his activity in our life. We began this study a couple weeks ago and trust it's been an encouragement to you. And if so, I want you to consider, you know, sharing this uh, to your social page or making, uh, leaving comments with us, likes it. It just helps the word of God to go out into the masses. We want people to know that God really does love them and he's active in their life whether they realize it or not. But let's continue to look at the subject matter of God at work in us or the evidence of God at work within us. And remember, there's God the Father, there's God the Son, and there's God the Holy Spirit. So God the Father had the plan, God the Son came and executed the plan, and now God the Holy Spirit is here to reveal the plan, and he's at work within us. When we said yes to Jesus, sin moved out and God's Spirit moved in. Well, when he moved in, he wants to do something in us. He wants to make us more like Christ in our character, in our attitude, in every way imaginable so that we could demonstrate the goodness of God to other people so they could come into the knowledge of his saving grace. So let's continue to look at what Paul had to say in Galatians chapter 5 when it comes to the fruit of the Spirit. And that means that there's fruit, that means there's proof. And here we go, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and verse 23. But the fruit of the Spirit, talking about God's Spirit, is what? It's love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, gentleness, gentleness, and self-control. Now we've looked at the first six already, and today we're gonna to look at the final three. The final three are faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When I think of faithfulness, I think to a degree, we appreciate people that show up and we value that, and that's important. But it's also much deeper than that. Faithfulness is taking what God has given unto us, putting it into use, and watching it grow. I think of the parable of the faithful steward or the faithful servant where the Lord entrusted certain talents to individuals and then he came back and there was a day of accounting. And for those that put their talents into use, he said this phrase, well done thou good and faithful servant. See faithfulness, yes, begins maybe with showing up, but then it is completed when we take what God has entrusted unto us, we apply it by faith, it grows and increase, and we return it to the Lord so He's glorified. So let's be faithful. Let's take our lives as an example, as instruments that God wants to work through, and at the same time, He's working on us. And let's yield to Him so He can be at work and we can be faithful. All right, number two, gentleness. Gentleness, the word picture in the Greek, is a horse with a bit in its mouth. Isn't that interesting? This horse has tremendous power, but it's submitted to the bit and it becomes gentle and easy to guide and to lead. Well, the other word for gentleness that other translations use is meekness, and meekness is strength under power. That's what gentleness is all about, is that we choose to respond to God, and in doing so, we can be gentle. Now here is the third of today's three that we're gonna take a look at, and it's self-control. And this is not willpower, this is God's power at work in us. Now we can get certain things done with our own ability or strength, but this is talking about the evidence of God at work in our life. And the other word that's used for self-control is temperance, temperance or self-restraint. Now that doesn't mean that it's self, but we yield ourselves unto God, unto His Spirit. And then in those moments when we want to behave or in a certain way that's not pleasing to the Lord, like fleshing out, we choose not to. We choose to yield to self-control or to be under His control. And this can be in word and in actions. So more ways that God is at work within us, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And we trust this has been a blessing to you. Have a great day.